Did you know that as early as 1928, encyclopedias wrote about dragons as extremely rare but still living creatures? Ancient sources tell tales of reptilian-like beings that once populated our Earth abundantly. It is evident that there were many of them, varying in species and size, some large, some small. These creatures bore different names, with ancient Europeans referring to them as dragons. The descriptions of dragons closely align with those of modern-day dinosaurs. The ancient legends of dragons, found in almost every culture, likely originated from memories of dinosaurs. Scientists worldwide agree that these legends are rooted in factual occurrences rather than mere imagination. Such legends can be found in every corner of the world, from Africa, India and Europe to the Near and Far East, and even in North and South America. Australian Aboriginals and Amazonian tribes in particular possess extensive knowledge about snakes and dragons. Mentions of dinosaurs are not confined to the earliest written historical records, such as the Bible. In 1928, encyclopedias still mention that dragons were very rare but existing creatures. In the town of Staraya Rusa in the Novgorod region, a small figurine depicting a dinosaur was discovered. This artifact was found on the city's central square and appeared to be over 300 years old. However, two aspects puzzle scientists. Firstly, why did the craftsman choose to depict a dinosaur for this trinket? And secondly, why did the creature wear a collar around its neck? According to hypotheses, in the 17th century, people in the lands of Veliki Novgorod were familiar not only with dinosaurs, but also possessed knowledge of how to tame or domesticate these ancient beasts. They may have been introduced, for example, akin to dogs wearing collars. Of course, this is just a conjecture. At present, specialists find themselves in a predicament as they struggle to explain what creature the artist truly depicted three centuries ago and why they added a collar. Such discoveries could overturn the accepted history. If the whole truth were revealed to the public, the powerful of this world would not be so tightly bound to all this deception. The most compelling evidence supporting the theory of coexistence between humans and dinosaurs comes from the famous stones. These are thousands of stones with engravings, housed in a private collection in the Peruvian city of Ica. Many believe them to be forgeries, but these stones depict maps of unknown continents. These stones continue to be discovered in ancient burial sites, and the mystery surrounding the origins of these intriguing depictions on the stones remains unsolved. Dr. Gavier Cabrera's collection of stones now exceeds 11,000 specimens, with nearly 3,000 featuring humans alongside dinosaurs. The stones portray an ancient Peruvian next to a sauropod with leather spikes on its back. It was only in 1992 that paleontologists discovered certain sauropods possessed a mill row of leather spikes. Another artifact that convincingly supports the direct connection between humans and dinosaurs is the collection known as Ruda. Tens of thousands of main figures, including dinosaurs, were discovered by Waldemar Jolsrud in Mexico during excavations at El Toro Hill. This happened in 1944. This collection contains numerous anthropomorphic statuettes representing almost the complete set of racial types such as Mongoloids, Africans, Caucasians, including bearded individuals, Polynesian types, and more. It consists of approximately 2,600 statuettes depicting dinosaurs. Recognizable paleontological species can be clearly identified, such as Brachiosaurus, Iguanodon, Tyrannosaurus rex, Pteranodon, Ankylosaurus, Plesiosaurus, and many others. But the most astonishing aspect is that the collection contains a significant number of human images alongside these pets. In 1960, near the town of Glen Rose, Texas, Stan Tate discovered a chain of human footprints in the Paluxy River bed. The area was carefully cleared using excavator equipment revealing 14 right and left footprints of barefooted humans. However, that is not the most remarkable part. 
in close proximity, over 100 footprints of a three-toed dinosaur of approximately the same geological age were found. These 14 ancient human-like footprints, left when someone was walking on their tiptoes, were named the Taylor Trail. According to official data, the age of this ancient rock is over 100 million years. There is ample evidence of the existence of these reptiles all over the world. Many cultures, both ancient and modern, possess a multitude of images and artifacts related to dinosaurs. Allow me to present to you the Nile Mosaic, also known as the Palestinian Mosaic. It measures 585 by 431 centimeters and depicts the Nile River and the complete life of ancient Egypt during the time of Philemia. The exact date of its creation is disputed, but most scholars tend to associate it with the reign of Sulla in the first century BCE. The word pardalis written in Greek literally means crocodile and leopard. On the wall of one of the ancient Angkor temples, covered with delicate stone carvings, an image of a stegosaurus was discovered. The authenticity of the carving raises no suspicions among scholars. The bas-relief was undoubtedly created more than a thousand years ago, alongside the temple. One of the ancient cylindrical seals of Mesopotamia, estimated to be over 5,000 years old, also depicts dinosaurs. The body structure of these dinosaurs is remarkably similar to that of Apatosauruses, which belong to the sauropod family. Many specimens cannot be confused with any other type of dinosaurs. In the Natural Bridges National Monument in America, the Anastasi culture left hieroglyphs with an image of an Apatosaurus, which has a long neck tail and a small head. Not far from this location, another petroglyph depicts a bipedal dinosaur. The fact that the animal is in a vertical position and balances on its tail may indicate that the artist had first-hand knowledge of this creature. It is possible that they resembled modern kangaroos in such a pose. In the Black Dragon Canyon, Indian tribes created petroglyphs of the repair culture, dating back to 1250 CE, which depict ancient lizards. The rock drawing resembles a large winged reptile or a pterodactyl from the Cretaceous period. In 1971, Douglas Lawson from the University of Osain discovered fossilized dinosaur bones in Farmington Park. It was determined that these were long wings and very thin-walled. The bones could have belonged to a pterosaur with a wingspan of about 18 meters. Another intriguing drawing is that of a dragon depicting a fire-breathing dinosaur. This petroglyph was photographed by Chris Meyer and was named Paul for Magic Dragon. It strongly resembles a fire-breathing dinosaur. The age of the drawings on this panel and those nearby is unknown, but they are believed to be several hundred years old at least. A photograph of an ancient Thai artifact from the Book of Art of Asian countries shows a burner or candle holder. The similar depiction shows a stylized version of a sauropod, a type of dinosaur that was indeed found in Thailand. Another similar item from North Vietnam belonging to the Danexan civilization, is made of bronze and dates back to the 3rd century CE. On the island of Kalimantan, located in the center of the Malay Archipelago, tropical forests and extensive swamps have preserved rare representatives of fauna. The art of the ancient inhabitants of Sumatra often depicts animals with long necks, tails, and crests on their heads. Some of them resemble hadrosaurs and other types of dinosaurs. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep exploring the unknown, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the Mystery Universe channel for more captivating content. Stay curious and let's unravel the secrets of our universe together.